I think your saved game is corrupted. What? Just kidding. No! <laughs> what? That's not funny. <laughs> oh my god. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> What's going on, Milk Chops? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. This game is insane, and it I, I think it's truly our future, to be honest. Um, Alright. Uh, I don't know why it's so, like, laggy right now. That's a little funky. Yeah! Oh my god! This game looks ten times better. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's find Amanda. Um, I think she's the girl from the main, like scene type of thing also why can i not just like walk wherever walk. on to walk the bridge okay let's go over the beach let's go over the beach that is not the girl from the um the main menu um i forgot some of the controls it's been a it's been a little bit oh control okay that's the one hello amanda Hello, Amanda. Trusted. Connor. Hi. It's good to see you. You as well, Amanda. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. I like the music. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. It? You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the deviant? Ooh, um, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. Yes. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. Yes. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's cool. Intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Connor's he's voice an is so cool. Character. Very. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Um friendly I will try to establish a friendly relationship if I can get him to trust me it will be helpful for the investigation Ooh, Amanda didn't like that more and more androids show signs of deviancy Ooh. there are millions in circulation if they become unstable the consequences will be disastrous mm -hmm. you're the most advanced prototype cyber life has ever created whoa if anyone okay. can figure out what's happening it's you you can count on me, Amanda. Ooh, she didn't like that. I don't get why, though. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Ooh. Is she like the head of Cyberlife or something? Ooh, he's thinking. He's thinking with his his brain. His little android brain. Well, big android brain, I guess. Hello. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, you can. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yes. Ooh, A. Boom. Blink, blink, blink. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay. What is there to do? Okay, nothing. <laughs> awesome. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new Whoa. Whoa! This is cool. <gasps> There's so much to do. Hey. Take a look at these samples yet? The lab report says they cut it with something. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of a new form. Okay, these are things you can just look at, I think. Countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, yeah, have called for military forces to Alright. Okay, I wanna I wanna look what's on that screen. That's so obviously far, not no Anderson. From right there. Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you 
you informed Who are you? by minute as the situation develops. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Let's talk to her. It's that desk right there. That makes sense. But I'm not done. I'm looking around. I want to go talk to him. Oh. Ooh, he got donuts. Whoa. Lieutenant Anderson. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. My name is Do you Tom. know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Murray? Cool. Explore new office. Okay. Hi, honey. <clears throat> but don't androids usually just like wouldn't he just see like hmm. I'm gonna do everything I can can't do a whole lot I guess read Detroit today the three laws about robotic parenting yeah that that doesn't seem safe to me I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna read them all Ivanov says, "Nyet." Cool. Okay. There's a little bubble over here that says I can do something. Hello. You're still here? I yes, thought I your assignment was over. It's just been extended. Hank's going to be overjoyed to hear that. <laughs> Hank likes me. You were right about that android. It's been quiet in the cell all night. It's scheduled for transfer today. Oh, okay. So where's the cell? Where, where do I go to see, see that android? Where do I go find that android? Ew, don't look at me like that. Weirdy. Archive room. <laughs> Creeper. You need a shower, bro. They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. Hmm. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> I didn't say anything when I picked that. I'm going to die. Huh. Is he shut out? Is, is he completely yeah, okay. Oh, he's writing all around in his cell. That's crazy. Who's this dude? He's self-destructing. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! He's self-destructing. Oh my god. Is he okay? I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Oh my.
Okay. Go back to Hank's desk. Okay. Hank, I'm on the way, buddy. Buddy old pal. Oh, that was cool. The way the uh, camera did that. <clears throat> hey, it's Hank. Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Great. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Oh boy. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! Ooh. The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a <laughs> partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me <sighs> off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking <laughs> novel. This conversation is over. Uh, Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking Hanks things. Deviant. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Come on, Hank. It's not that bad. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Damn. Have a nice day, Captain. Oh. Damn, dude. Check on Hank. I'm gonna go this way first. I, I, I'd prefer to go over here. Because I think there's something that you can do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Observation room? Is that what this is? Enter. Ooh, okay. I'd like to listen. So why... Okay, there's nothing to do in here. Okay. It's weird. Can I go in here? Can you go to the bathroom? There's an android in the bathroom. Look at you, Connor, looking all snazzy. He's a snazzy boy. Connor have to pee. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Guess we'll just go check on Hank. I think I might have missed my opportunity to do something in the observation room. So. Hank, look at you pouting. 
I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. <laughs> Come on, Anderson. <laughs> Don't be a douche. <laughs> Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Uh, come on, Anderson. Analyze deviancy files. Which, which desk? Oh, this one right here. Whoa! Come on, come on, come on. That's the only, only issue I have with this game is the, is the uh, camera. Sometimes it's a little bit janky. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? <laughs> I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I have to. I, I gotta keep going. If I can say something else, I, I gotta. I gotta. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. <laughs> there we go. Man, I have no other options. Are you serious? If you have any files on Deviants... I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Access. Okay. Whoa. Can I just like scan it? Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. It's, it's, um, uh, Kara, right? Does it say? I don't think it says her name anywhere. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Is um, Marcus in here? Tented Merle. Leo. Oh my God. Carl Manfred. Holy shit. Kara and Marcus are both in here. Unknown series. Destroyed. But he's not. Okay. Scan all files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Hmm. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. <gasps> oh, worlds collide. This is great. Oh my god. Come on, Hank. Let's go. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Come on, Hank. Trying to be nice here. Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you really feel like forensics. working. Ooh. I'll just... Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in the dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. It's been sighted? Oh, shit. Where we left off, we were sleeping in the... in the... abandoned house, correct? I don't know why, like, I'm... <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I wasn't trying to piss Hank off. Oh, there was another way you could go? Okay. Yep, 97. Makes sense. I don't know where... Like, I didn't know how else that was going to go. <clears throat> I would have preferred not to piss Hank off, but like... I don't know. Yeah, let's trust it. Okay, we need clothes.
What I got, Ballas? Fool. Okay. What's our mission? Revive the fire. Oh, my bad. Find some wood. Okay. Alice, you are in the way. Let's go in here. Let's see what we can find. RA9 again. Got all the RA9 things. Urban farm area, urban field. Okay. That's a deer head. I'm alive. 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 Okay. Cool. That's a dead bird. Bird, watch, money, leave. Yeah. I, I don't want to mess with anything. Because I know that guy was, like, kind of weird. Let's just go find some wood if we can. A little game. Revive fire. Right, but. Hello, Kara. Find new clothes. Okay. Um, oh, wood! There we go. Maybe let's just do the fire and then we'll worry about clothes. Alright, let's go find some clothes. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, I think we can now. Yeah, cool. Maybe there's some clothes up here. Go in here. Hello? Anybody home? Anything here? Anything here? There's gotta be something in here, right? Yes! Clothes, baby! Alright, Kara. You need to put those other clothings on. Damn! Very nice, very, very demure, very, dem very mindful, very cutesy. Cut hair? Sheesh! Oh my god! Okay, let's, let's grab that. Actually, can I put that back? Um, I kind of regret doing that, to be honest. Hello! Anybody home? Love! Does it say love? Yeah, it says love. Everybody is afraid of love. Love! Hello. Oh! Skizzers! Cut! Chop, chop! No! Oh. Dang, dude. It's crazy. Very nice. Now you look like a little boy. Hmm. What? You can change your hair. Air? Color? White. Blonde. Black. Let's see what black looks like. I think... I don't know. I guess blonde would be the, the best change. Just because, like... <sighs> Blonde would be the best change, I think. Oh my god. Just because it's the most drastic change, I think. And that is weird. 
That is super weird and gross. Although I guess it's not at the same time. I want to. I. <gasps> That's a dead body. Um, let's get the fuck out of here. Connor. All right. That's yep. For now. Pretty good. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay. Well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. Oh, this is crazy. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Definitely. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. <laughs> no, I think it's okay. Uh refuse. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sit. Okay. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> Great. 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 <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> um. Father, mother, little girl. Okay. Please, Carl. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Eat. Oh, no. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ask about the corpse. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. Insist about the corpse. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. No. It's just that... Ralph can control his anger. Yeah, I see that. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He... Yeah. He becomes stupid. Obvious. Very, very obvious. Hatred. Ooh. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. 
Yeah, we got anybody get home. Oh, Connor! Oh my God, Connor! There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Oh my God! No, dude. What do I? Ah! ah! This is insane. Investigate the trail. Oh wait. I mean, I know, but I don't see any. Obviously, he's gonna see. Android inside the house. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I don't like it. No! I don't want to get Kara caught, man. Okay. Good, 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 good. Hello, sir. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph seen nobody. Are there okay. any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Table for three people, food, androids don't eat. Okay, no, 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 I want to look at the fire. Okay, there we go. Androids don't need heat. Okay. We're discovering all of this. Perfect tool to cut a wire fence. Oh, where'd that go? Where'd that option go? Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is it with this little, like, game thing? Gardener. Oh, so he's a gardener. Reported missing? <clears throat> okay, burn mark. Oh, that's a burn mark? Damn. Looks like a laceration. Processing LED. Uh, instability. Self-destruction moderate. Okay. Level of stress. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Can we do anything here? We already looked at that. Let's go up to the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. He's really stressed out when we walk right up to him. Oh, shit. And climbing. <laughs> Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Android is telling the truth. So they're downstairs. Okay. Under the staircase. Run quick, Kara! Oh my god! He's got manhandled. Connor, what's Connor? going on? It's here. Call it in. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Run, Connor. Go, go, go. Whoa! We get to actually like play as Connor right now. This is crazy. Just go. Oh my god, this is really cool. Oh, I love this game so much. Connor. Just 
blast through the, <laughs> the fence. Don't shoot! We need it alive! Oh my god. Oh fuck! That's insane! Oh my god, no way. This is Connor's deviancy right now. That's what's going on. Oh, Connor's so badass. Oh shit! Go, go, go! We're like fighting ourselves right now. This is insane. Holy shit! Fighting ourselves right then. And she looks like a human. Whoa, dude. Are you okay? Oh my God. Kara really got away, dude? Oh my god! This is insane! This story is going insane! Whoa! You could have gone so many different ways. Where? Like, where, where were the options to do that? 65%? Holy shit, okay. Dude! Oh, they all they all led to the same thing, but okay. Several sources Ooh, report that man. Cyber Life has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have been tested for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being it's Marcus. Okay, so they know about Connor. Like the media and stuff. I don't know if that's good or bad, though. Ferndale. This place will be getting free. Find Jericho. Jericho. Shift. What is that? Like, well, I don't... Look for the graffiti. Oh! There it is! <laughs> right there. Blue updated. Find Jericho. What are you saying? Oh, it's not you. It's the same thing. I know. It's great, right? Sure. I'll talk to you later. I'm not gonna... It's another one of those tablet things. Can I not go down that? <gasps> I 
droid only. Blend in with the humans. Oh, this is so cool! So he's like, he's like actually free. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the painting. It's right there. I see it. <clears throat> Oh, whoops. It's right here. Did it not? Ugh. Scan it. Oh, there's two. Okay. Right there. Robot! 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 Can you help me out? Oh, right there. There she be! There's more though. Don't be weird about it. Just do it. Now you're being weird. Okay. Oh. All right. Is this the path? Do, do, is this the path to get to? Right there it is. There's two on this one, I think. Is that one? Oh, maybe there's three. Find a way to reach the roof. Hmm. Can I just like Superman jump up there? Poof! There, I can get to the roof right there. What the hell? What the hell? Gotta move this. Damn! Parkour! Looking for the hidden one. Cool. Sparkle. Maybe it says sparkle. I don't know. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do. Oh shit. He's really about a parkour. He's gonna wall run. Oh my god! Execute! Oh my god! He's parkour Jesus. There it is. Sparkle City. That was right. It does say sparkle. Sparkle! the other one. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. Boop. Boop. Quick. There we go. 
circus? Where the hell are we going? <clears throat> it's your little parkour playground. Oh, constructed. Pre constructed. Oh. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Alright, well, let's go back. Yeah, let's not do that one. Let's go this way. Huh. Huh. Dude! What the hell? Oh, too high. Kobe! Dude. This is insane. Let's do it. Oh my god! He's fast as hell, boy! Holy shit! I know, I remember what it looked like. It should be, is it on the wall behind us? Yeah, okay. That's it right there. Oh, am I gonna have to like... Yeah. Bam. Okay. Also, there's an android right here. Yep. Hello, sir. You don't look so good. Tonk. Shift. Forward with the mouse. I wonder if Connor's gonna get in trouble also. I know we're in Marcus's story, but I'm just saying. Jericho. Oh, it's a boat. Hello, Jericho. Reach the boat. I will reach the boat. Boom! I won't reach the boat. Not anymore. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to go that way. It's fine. Get up there. Hey, what? You could have reached out. Just grab that. You didn't have to jump. Oh, also, I wonder how heavy they are. I wonder how heavy androids are. Like... Marcus, be careful, be careful, Mr. Mr. Man. Jump! Oh my god! So they don't sink either. So that's something to think about as well. Give me that. Ooh, I didn't know we were playing a horror game.
Huh. Come on, Marcus, use your big strong arms. Dude, this is so cool. I am loving this game. Open says me. So much noise. Be quiet, Marcus. Uh, hello? I don't like that. I hear somebody. Somebody's moving around, man. Okay. Most of the doors are locked. Can I go this way? Is there anything? Hello! Okay, there's nothing this way. Oh my god, this scared the fuck out of me! God damn it! This is not a horror game. You don't have to do that to me. Oh, dude! Oh, that was. That's a weird. Q and A. That was. Freaky. Not in a good way either. Say that. Run, Marcus. people of Jericho. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, so are we back to Connor now? <clears throat> yep, we are. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. He's gonna be mad. Is there anything else I can do? Okay, that is it. That's, that's the only thing. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. All right, Whoa. I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. Hey, Hank. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow <laughs> me around like a poodle. <laughs> Come on, Hank. Partners. Now that we're partners, I thought it would be a good idea to get to know each other better so we can work as a team. We are not partners. I am yeah, a human. Are. You are a machine. So just spare me that buddy of bullshit program, okay? Okay. 
Come on. There you go. Gary Kay's business owner. Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Pineapple passion. Damn, pineapple passion. Hmm. Oh my god, dude, that is insane. I'm scanning you, Hank. Lieutenant Anderson. This is Lieutenant. Criminal record. No. Oh, okay. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <sighs> See? See? Okay. Gambling, cholesterol, habit, enjoy your meal. Gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you made a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, habit. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Hank and Can I Android. ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? Hmm. I have my reasons. So tell me. Is there anything like... you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Oh, no! Cyberlife androids are designed <laughs> to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Damn. Proceed. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. A mutation? Which can lead to them emulating happen? a human emotion. In English, please. <clears throat> they don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions. Which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Similar to emotions. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Many times before. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Yes. Know everything so. there is to know about me? Yeah, pretty much. Truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Hmm. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Huh. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted Hank to Hank to actually like us. I don't want him to hate hey, us. Connor. Like You run out of batteries or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. <laughs> well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. No. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, what do we know about this guy? Let's see. Not much. Just that a neighbor Whoa. reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED. On Oh, sorry, Connor. Rock pigeon. There's cat. Oh. Oh Christ! If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hmm. Anybody home? 
bust the Open door. Open up, down. Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Hank, do you have a warrant? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh! What the fuck is this? Ah, uh, Jesus! This place stinks. Okay, what what is there? Ah, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Okay, so this is hiding a hole in the wall, for sure. Oh, whoops. Our man's gone. Oh. Okay. There's a look. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Dude, what is with all the pigeons? Oh my god! What's in the fridge? Suspect doesn't eat. Makes sense. Sounds like an android. Yet again. Excuse me? Suspect cares for wild animals. <laughs> Nice. Oh, there's a symbol on the wall. RA9, that's also not good. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Damn. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Sample. Blue blood. Wait. Where? Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Yeah. Well, I, okay. I'm. I'm a little confused right now. What is that? Marker. Okay. Reconstruct. Off of that little bit. Damn. so bad is there anything else oh that ah, Jesus I hate these things huh. calm down Hank just birds close oh military jacket okay RT probably initials he put his initials in his jacket? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Hank. Okay. Skid mark. Okay, 
so this was hanging here. Oh shit, he was here like five minutes ago. Suspect is still here. That's something your mom does when you're Hank, in first out. grade. Real books. I thought I was the last guy to try to keep some. Ah! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Move! Yo! Hey! I forget my button. Space! <laughs> Connor? No! Easy but slow, fast but risky. Okay, go, go, go. I don't know! So cool. Come here. Okay, fast but risky. Oh no. Fast but risky. Fast but risky. I'm saving Hank. I'm saving Hank. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. Friend. That's alright. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Couldn't kill Hank, man. Hey, Connor. Oh, he called us Connor. Nothing. He's gonna say thanks. Oh, man. Oh. Connor saved Hank. Oh, we had to. We had to save Hank. We couldn't just leave him. Rupert? Okay, so that just gave away a little bit. <laughs> Hi. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Simon? He's right. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. 
Humans have little pity for our kind. Free? And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no that, safe place for us. That's the guy like that us. was on the, on the if building. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Uh, Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh, direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Well, I'm getting the hell out of here. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Okay. Start the fires. Who's this dude? I'm not in very good shape, am I? Mm, definitely not, boy. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have Yikes. anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. Damn. Gotta go to a junkyard, baby. Get yourself some parts. I ain't helping you. I'm helping myself. does no I don't well I'm about to find out what's your name Marcus hmm. I was glad to meet you Marcus oh Locked up, man. Damn, that is scary. RA nine. Sorry, I know I'm being really quiet. I'm just I'm just kind of like trying to take in everything. I'm just going to start all these fires. I feel like another option might might pop up. If I start all these fires. Oh, she's playing with a ball. It looks like Ralph. All right. What the hell is that? Um, is that a real human? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. 
So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. So you gotta sneak into a salvage yard. Cyber life. Very already emptied. Oh, so these are all just components. Okay. Calculating route. Explore Jericho. Find Lucy. Yeah, I wanna. Oh, you guys don't look too great. Yeah, I wanna talk to this girl. Hello. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Hmm. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. Hmm. They'll never accept what we are. Yeah, I think that's true into real life as well. I don't think that's uh, that's gonna. What be was a your thing. function before coming here? What do you care? Hmm. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I'm just asking, biatch. I'm trying to be nice. All right. Don't gotta be rude. Find Lucy? Who the fuck is Lucy? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you're Lucy. I know Are an important Lucy? character when I see one. Oh my god. Sit down. Uh, hi. Show me. Show you what? I'm keeping my pants on. I'll stop the bleeding. Cauterize the wound. Drink this. Okay. I guess I will. Is that blue blood? Yes, it is. Drink it all? Oh, okay. It's all gone. Give me your hand. Oh God, I don't want to give it to you. I want to keep my hand. Or are we like exchanging memories and stuff? What the fuck is going on with her eyeballs? You had it all and you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? The Onceler. She is the Your Onceler. choices will shape our destiny. Is she an oracle?
Okay. Thanks, Lucy. I'm gonna go now. Where's Simon? Hi, Simon. You're the one that held that little girl hostage. Simon. Hmm. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. True. Maybe it's worth a try. Oh my god, everyone likes me now. Aha! Okay. I'm in. Might as well. I mean, what, what, the, what the hell else are you gonna do? Total points. Did I... Wait, did I... What did I miss? Public opinion, skeptical. <laughs> Was there an option just to straight up leave Jericho? Why is it still raining? You're gonna be okay? Aww. We'll get some help here. Soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. Oh, that's a scary house. This is the place. Open! Open says me. Come on, Alice. We need to go inside. Again. Get you out of the rain. Again. Oh. Okay, maybe I should have waited. Are you Zlotko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Is he an android or? Come in. Yay! Let's get you some new clothes, Alice. Oh, look at her little boots. Come on in. Don't be shy. Look at them little boots. Ah. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old Dude. house. He is a big boy. I didn't know they made androids that big. Please. Make yourselves at home. Aw, what a nice guy. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Oh, Ralph, right? Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. Huh. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. Yep. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. <laughs> Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Whoa. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... He looks familiar. That's exactly what we want. 
Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. What? This is really weird. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Uh... I don't like this. I can't read any of those. I'd like to come back into here and look around if I can. Okay. Okay. Um, I, this is really weird. I, I, I feel like there's a little more to this. I feel like this guy's kind of up to something. I don't like this place and that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Are you sure? It'll be okay, Alice. He's going to remove my tracker, and then we can start over again in Canada. You want that too, right? Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. Ooh. Come on, Alice. Oh boy. If you could just stand over there. Oh man. Seems trustworthy. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to find them. Oh. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! There's got to be a way wow. to... A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. Oh my god. So I fucking knew it. God damn it. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. No, dude. There's gotta be something to do. There's something we can do. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. There's gotta be something we can do. Come on, let me do something. Come on. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? That's what you get for having a dream. Come on, let me do it something. The same way. There's got to be something Tears to do. Dissolution. Believe me, uh, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. 
almost down to you. Kara! No. <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> no. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara! Wake up, Kara! Meet me in the living room. Is he gonna is he gonna help us get out? Oh, come on. My feet, my feet, kick some shit over. Oh shit. Uh Nee. Rip it. Rip it. Uh oh. That's not good. The other cable. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Come on, we gotta do this fast. We gotta do this fast. Come on. Rip it. Ugh. One more time. Shift. Short circuit, short circuit. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. That's... Oh, this is creepy. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Alice? Memory corruption repaired. All right, Alice, I'm coming. I'm on the way. I'm on the way, girly. There's. Help oh, there. us. I did. I opened it. Please don't destroy me. What's this? Nope. I want him, I want him to look. Oh my god, dude. This dude's insane. But you know what? In real life, Years down the road, I feel like that's a real thing. I feel like that'll actually happen. Yes, Lanko. We should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slanko. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Still inside. Okay. Ah, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. We have to get Alice. We need a weapon. Oh 
Oh my god, could you imagine leaving Alice there? Whoever does that is twisted, bro. Oh my god. Oh, this dude is creepy. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh, yes. You... What are you doing? Do it. You're not going to hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. No. No, of course not. Really? This is not the time. This is not the time. <sighs> oh my god, 8 minutes 50 seconds. Uh It's not Alice. That's a shotgun. We're going to grab that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loaded. Okay. Get some ammo. What the? What? Detroit residents were disturbed by a surprising chase through the city streets this morning. According. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. We need Alice! the last door Alice yes Alice shh, shh, shh. be quiet be quiet be quiet you remember me how could I forget you I'm so sorry you were right we never should have come here we have to go follow me and don't make any noise okay Okay. We got this. Luther. Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zarko. Oh my god. Uh Go! Run! Run! Oh my god, go! The front door! 
The back door? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah! Ah, go! Luther is not in a hurry at all. Alice! Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as Just fast go, as you go! Can. Get the fuck out of there! I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Don't do it. What yeah. are you doing? Get Hell out of yeah, my way. dude. No, not this time. I said, get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Oh, how dare you? Oh, oh shit. Oh my God. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Oh my God. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm oh. your master. I'm your master. Oh my god! That is insane. I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. We do now. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Who? I could take you there. Do we get to choose? You. you and the little one. All right. Sweet. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. Jesus, dude. That guy's an actor, isn't he? Oh, man. That could have... Whoa. Could you have gone a different way? I wonder. Oh, 98% of people. Okay, yeah. Alice found. Yeah. That makes sense. Sneak through the house. Really? Only 57% did that? Well, I, that's majority, but... Damn, that's crazy. Back to counting. All right, well, I think we're going to pick up on Connor's side of the story um, in the next episode. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and push the bell for notifications. And go check out Lord Pickle and You Matter. Yeah, dude, this game is getting insane. Um, Hank is our friend now, so that's cool. Um, Kara and Alice are actually, like, pretty much free now. If you guys are liking this game, um, definitely let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Peace.